Welcome to a code report, Advent of Code 2022 solution video for day six, the best day by far. And it is a very beautiful problem and even more beautifully solved in an array programming language like APL and BQN. Let's hop into the problem description by skipping it completely and getting right to the point. We are given a string and asked to find the first contiguous sequence of four characters that are all different. So the first four here contain a duplicate. The first four that don't contain a duplicate are the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh characters, J, P, Q, and M. And the question asks us to return the index of the last character of that contiguous sequence of four, which is gonna be the seventh character. So we return seven from this function. So let's hop over to our ride editor and solve this in APL. So here we are in our ride editor. We've got our data preloaded. Here's our string. We should turn boxing on as always, because we're about to use that. The first thing we need to do is called an n-wise reduction. So we do this by specifying n. In this case, to demonstrate this function, we'll show two. Catenate is gonna join our, our characters together, and this is our reduce. So if we give this something uh, like advent, if I can spell correctly, this is gonna give us two characters at a time and it's going to slide by one. So the first two characters, A, D, then it starts at the second character, D, V, so on and so forth. So for this problem, we want to look at four characters at a time. So we change our N from two to four, we get the following, and then we replace our advent with data. And it's gonna go a bit off the screen, but not a big deal. The next thing we wanna do is figure out how many characters, distinct characters are in each window or slice, whatever you wanna call it. For that, we can use unique. We do that over each of our windows and it's gonna remove duplicates. So you can see previously we had two J's here and now we've only got one, which means there's three characters in this chunk. So if we compose this with tally, that is then gonna convert each of our sub lists or slices into our string into a length, which is gonna be the number of characters. So we've got three, 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 and then a bunch of fours. So then in order to figure out what is the first sort of group of four that have uh, unique characters, we just need to check, is this equal to four? So create a small little fork here by adding four equals. Then we're gonna get a Boolean mask. We can then turn this into indices by using our function where, which is gonna basically get rid of the zeros and turn every single one into the corresponding index. So it's gonna be four, then five, etc. So if we do this, we're gonna get four, five, six, seven, just as I said. And we only care about the first one of these here. So we can just use our first function to get the first one out. And then to turn this into the index of the last character, we need to add four, but then subtract one because we have a one index language. And that is going to be our solution. So we can put this in a function, call it solution. Note that we're not calling it solution A because we're gonna immediately reuse this for our problem B. So Problem A is solved like this, but problem B asks us to do the exact same thing, but replace four with 14. So we can turn all of our fours into alphas. And then when we use our function, we can just do it like this, four solution data, and then put a little comment A here, that's gonna give us seven. And then for B, it's gonna be 19 is the answer we're looking for. So we go four, change this to B, 19, poof, we're done, beautiful, except, we're not done. I mean, this is beautiful, but it's actually suboptimal. So I was looking at Jay Fode's solutions and he had a slightly shorter, more elegant version of this. And this is what he did. So link in the description if you'd like to see his solution, but I'm gonna show it to you here anyways. He deletes the first, deletes the indices or where, deletes the alpha here, deletes the equals, deletes the parentheses, and then only adds two or three things. An alpha, a dyadic iota, AKA index of, which we saw, I believe in either problem one or problem three, and then we need a swap here. And so what this is basically, it's, it's recognizing that in our sequence of threes and fours that we turned into a Boolean mask, we can actually just look for the first four, which is the equivalent of the chunk that has unique characters by using, and actually this is the wrong iota here. We want a dyadic iota, not, not the dyadic. Um, where, or iota underbar, we basically want to find the first four in the list of threes and fours in this case for our string, but it might be, you know, threes, fours, two, ones, etc. in some other string. And this is the equivalent of what we just had. So if we, we show this and this, absolutely beautiful. So this is what originally 
I had, but then after refactoring it from looking at JFode solution, you can get to this absolutely beautiful. So thanks to JFode for solving these solutions, help me optimize mine, and then you guys get to see a shorter solution as well. All right, let's hop over to BQN to solve this using the exact same method. All right, here we are in BQN pad, fire website, as always, link in the description down below if you wanna check it out. Let's hop into solving this. So we don't have an NYS reduce in like we do in APL, but we do have something very similar, which is our Windows function. So this is gonna give us the same thing, but just in a matrix kind of form. And we can turn it into a list by doing the following. And from here, we just wanna do our equivalent of unique in APL, which is called deduplicate in um, BQM. And we need to do this over each of our lists. And then we can compose this with length, which is gonna give us the lengths of each of our sequences. And then we need to call our index of function, which looks slightly different but does the exact same thing. And we need a double struct W on the side. And then from here, we just need to add our W. And then uh, on top of this, we need to call first in order to get it out of that box. So basically the exact same thing we did in APL just looks slightly different. We've got our windows function instead of our NYS reduce, our deduplicate. And also here's actually a small optimization with the deduplicate only we need this, but once you combine it with the length, we can actually delete these two characters here. So slightly nicer. And then we've got the same thing, our flipped or swapped index of, and then because we have a zero indexed language with BQM, we don't actually need to subtract one. We do need to do the first at the end of though. So this is absolutely beautiful, both APL and BQN, such an awesome problem to solve in these languages. And I highly encourage you to either go to tryapl.org or download Ride or go to BQM Pad and work through one of these sort of problem A or problem B, I guess they're the same, in one of these languages because it's so awesome and so much fun. So that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something and have a great day.